Ramble. Thank you to Native and Me Undaves for sponsoring today's episode. Now on to the show. Hey ladies, if your men want to go buck wild, go up and hit them up style. Welcome to the tripod. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Get your hands on hey. the cash and spend it to the lies. And da, 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 da. What's that from? What is this from? It's just a thing that I made up uniquely in my mind. That's wild. Yeah. Whoa. Cool. That, that's... <laughs> You would have oh, done great in 90s R&B. If it's golden, everything goes from the cribs to the rides and the clothes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Really feel like you're quoting feel like something I'm that we don't it. know. You better not let them know. If they mess up, you got to hit them up. Uh, it's a beautiful <laughs> day on the tripod. Is that a lesser known TLC song? A closer, but no. Uh, we are joined in the studio via satellite by our good buddy, Andrew Gerza. He's the host of the Disability After Dark podcast. And you may have seen him on our incredible special tripod episode, which we just released Re-released on the YouTube channel, so if you haven't seen that, go watch it. Go give it a share. What a preamble. What's up, Andrew? Hey, how you doing? Start, you know how we're doing. You just heard me start with nonsense. <laughs> we're, I mean, we're fresh. that was pretty awesome. That's yeah. Song, what, 22 years ago now? Yeah, it's 20 years. Okay, so you did, know what I'm talking about. Did you recognize the song? I got it. I got oh, it. Wasn't it Blue Cantrell? Yes, Blue Cantrell. Okay, oh. I was going to say it was like, it was Kim Cattrall, and I'm like, no, that's from Sex and the City. No. I know it rhymes with that. Blue, blue. Control. Oh, so you weren't telling us because you didn't remember it, you yeah. yourself, Zach? <laughs> like, maybe if I sing more of it, I'll remember what uh, it is. Uh, Andrew, you and I met on your podcast, Disability After Dark, which we're going to just chill today. But if you want to quickly tell people what that show is and what we do on it. Sure. That's a show where I talk about disability stories. And that's basically the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. it. And it's Hell after yeah. dark as well. Yeah, it was originally like a sexy podcast. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was sexy for a while. And now it's just <laughs> it's not a as boring it's not as sexy podcast. now. Or I mean, it was sexy for a while there, but then I got bored and I was like, "How much can you talk about sex and disability every week?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to do something else. You'd be mm -hmm. surprised. Yeah, I'm, on our episode, we didn't talk much about sex. I was scared because I'm I'm very bashful, and I was like, "Oh no, are we just going to talk about?" My you were like so shy, and I was like, well, "I can't." Talk about I can't get right in there because I, I want to be respectful. So yeah, you had to do some foreplay with me on the podcast. Yeah, first. and <laughs> I mean this is I our think, tripod after dark. I think this sh show could be a little sexier. Ooh, I think it could stand uh -oh. to be. I feel like we have the occasional salacious episode. We sure did have do. the sex episode. We sure yeah, do. Recently, Andrew, yeah. we're, we're counting on you to make this episode a lot sexier than normal. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's so much fresh. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing today, Miles? Well, okay, so today, Andrew, uh, you know, we've got some special listener emails here. And we oh thought boy. we'd use your guidance uh, straight from Canada to help fix some of our... <laughs> <laughs> How would Canada handle this situation? Out. How Canada. would Canada How fix would these Canada problems? and or sexy handle this? Sexy, well. <laughs> sexy Canadian guidance here. Um, so let me pull up our listener emails. As always, you can right on in to, uh, you know, our email advice that'll go over miles at gmail.com or I'm drunk. Try guys at gmail.com. It depends on if you're drunk or sober. Well, right? if you're, yeah, exactly. If you're you stoned know. and or slash drunk. Uh, are there any other emails that we've forgotten about? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Almost exclusively. Uh, uh, Andrew, what second part? Second try jobs at gmail.com. Serious <laughs> inquiries only. <laughs> yeah. Send your problems to second <laughs> no, try jobs. No, 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 no. At no, gmail.com. No. What part of Canada are you in? W Toronto? So Halifax, Vancouver, you know, like the three major cities. Uh -huh. in Canada? Yeah, I mean, I mean, one of those I'm in Toronto. Yes. Montreal, mm. Quebec. Heath is just Isn't bragging there, that he knows geography. There's like a bridge to Detroit or something there. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that all you know? About yeah, is it a bridge yeah. or a tunnel? That's all I know. Is there well, some I mean, bridge? There's a big, there's a big tower here. Tower. Oh, oh. A big the tower. CN tower. Blue Jays. I know the Blue yeah, Jays. Right. You also there you go. Have, are there actual Blue Jays the bird there? Or is there this sort are, of more yes. of a Jacksonville Jaguars situation? <laughs> no, no. There are real live Blue Jays here. Oh, there okay, are. Cool, what, cool. What are cool. your opinions on the Blue Jays as a bird? Um, <laughs> I think it's a beautiful bird. I know you didn't ask me. As a me. bird, I thought you were going to go into a sports thing, and I was like, I'm too queer for that. I can't do sports. Are Blue Jays like dicks? That's a question that I've never been asked. <laughs> I, don't uh, mean, I guess I'm using the word like in, in no, American they're, fashion. They're like mean. <laughs> um, yeah. I have not come across a Blue Jay, 
mm. ever in my life, mm. especially mm. not a mean one. Mm. Yeah, oh, that's so. nice. Wow. wow. And now, Keith, what bird have do you, you come think across? Is most have you ever like seen any dick? phallic blue yeah, jays? Any that look like dick? Yeah. I would. I think I'd be very pleased if I met a phallic blue jay. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound pleasing. It almost sounds like a cartoon, <laughs> like a little cartoon dick bird flying around. Dick sounds bird. pretty nice. Flappy bird. A flappy bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A flack. Oh, well, speaking of flappy birds, here we go. <clears throat> this is a writer that is written on in. Hey, Miles and the guys and Andrew. I have a problem. Whoa, how'd they know he was going to be here? <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> um, I have a problem. I have had a crush on my roommate for a very long time. We were both juniors in college. I am a guy. She is a girl. We have been close since freshman year, but I have developed feelings since about the last year. And until Ash recently, and it seemed like she might have a crush on me too. The problem. We had a fire in our apartment a month ago because I put popcorn in the microwave and accidentally hit the defrost button. It set the microwave on fire and the oh. fire department came because all the alarms in the building were off. Jesus. So it so the defrost so, button is like a long time yeah, like of a microwaving button or something. So like that. this dude <laughs> set his popcorn to defrost and then like yeah. left fully for left, like I guess 20 minutes. Yeah. I, setting a microwave on fire Kind of impressive. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Pretty hot. It's a boss move. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> boss As move. a person who, you know, gets high from time to time, I could believe you could forget that you put your popcorn uh, in. 100%. Right, right, if I right. was, yeah, a little stony. Like, you just go outside yeah. and like, oh, so here's something else that catches my attention for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> yes. You're like, whoa, the trees are cold. Oh, I made popcorn. <laughs> oh, oh, the house is on fire. <laughs> All right, the firefighters came in and made fun of me for my popcorn thing. All of them were laughing, my roommate included. <laughs> One of them, a huge buff firefighter, then asked my roommate out. And since then, they have been hooking up loudly in our apartment. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> no. Wow, this is like a movie <laughs> story. What a nightmare. I obviously do not have any rights to be mad at my roommate, but how do I quell my romantic feelings over the sound of... of of a firefighter banging my crush through the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Love the show. This show did get steamy. <laughs> wow. Is, and firefighter. Yeah. That's a that's a yeah. fantasy right there. You can't compete with a Rescue firefighter. Rescue me, daddy. You may have to move. You may have to move. Yeah. First of all, yeah. just like, like let's break this down. Having a crush on your roommate, that's tough. Yeah. That Try is tough. being happy for her. I have a question. And then ask Are if you can join can in. Canadian <laughs> firefighters as hot as American firefighters. <laughs> Ooh. Weirdly enough, there's a fire station directly down from my house. Uh huh. And I will say that maybe we're a little bit hotter than American firefighters. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. They know how to ride a pole, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, damn right. <laughs> they know how to choke a hose, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. They know how to steer the caboose. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> steer the caboose. Do you think they ride trains? No, but the, the oh. uh, fire truck does have two cars, and you have to steer the back car. <laughs> oh, okay. And I, the cab I was really trying to make, you know, <laughs> yeah, trying to relate it to butts. Yeah, I see that. I tried, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> They've got Jesus. Dalmatians, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I don't, actually, but yeah. <laughs> they, the ladders extend pretty far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's very nice. They get them erect on top of there. But hotter than American firefighters is interesting. Yeah, I guess. Do they look <laughs> the same? Do they wear the same little sort of like um, red suits, red outfit? Yeah. The spender. I, I think that in Canada, the, from what I've seen, at least in the fire station by my house, they're blues. Suits? Blue. Blue. Oh, oh, Keith red. just Whoa, got <laughs> blue <aroused>. firefighters. <laughs> Oh, wow. I'm looking up Canadian firefighter right now. <laughs> are the uh, fire hydrants also blue? No, they are not. They're red. They're red for fire or, or yellow. Well, Sometimes yellow. Yellow, yeah, yellow is what I've seen most of the time. Mm. Yeah, blue and yellow. I also see some brown, and yellow. yellow. I guess that's also what our firefighters wear too. Now yeah. that I'm looking at, like, they yeah, wear yellow. Normal. They're not wearing red. We're t we're picturing like a, a, a children's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. children's <laughs> are you picturing a lumberjack as a fireman? Okay, so the firefighter is loudly banging. The roommate, yeah. Roommate. That's tough. I don't think you're going to be able to work through that. And I, I'm yeah. going to think that I don't think she has a crush on you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bunch of... That's like my waking nightmare is having a bunch of firefighters come and just be like, you fucking suck, like in my own apartment. <laughs> hey, Adi, you want to hook up next to this loser? <laughs> I would say like, okay, it's one thing to know that your crush is banging someone else. Yeah. Mm. But... To have them loudly banging, that mm -hmm. just is like, oh, well, they're doing something that I don't know how to do. Yeah. Yeah. 
You could be extra petty and be like, excuse me, you're really loud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's loud. definitely one Thank way you. to do it. You or could just have to, an apartment yeah. meeting. Ooh, that's not bad. <laughs> and Send the an firefighter email? just walks in the background just like wearing nothing but a robe. <laughs> Yeah. I think going petty is the only route here. I think mm -hmm. that we need to rom-com this shit. You need to find another friend, maybe a frenemy, who you're going to enter exactly. in a deal with. Right. They're going to come over, and mm -hmm. you're going to have even louder fake sex. Right. Yeah. But right. now, in the process of this fake sex, sex yeah you two will fall in love Boom. and then she's gonna break up the firefighter she's gonna say i'm so sorry zach or whatever yep. this person's name is i want you back and you're gonna say no sorry mila kunis <laughs> yeah you're not the main character in this story you know what i am thinking like that's a typical romantic comedy like two people moaning to sort of like you know right pretend and they're, they're like, sex and they're then it's shaking like, the dresser oh, this is kind of and then it yeah of course they fall in love yeah, yeah. lust yeah, one of the unused uh, plot lines for Candid Competition was that we were going to, in testing hotel rooms, Miles and I were going to loudly moan and bang against the wall, and then Keith and Eugene, as a an elderly couple in prosthetics, we're, were going to be next door, going to check into every room next door. Wow! And I don't know, I don't. You guys were really into that idea Wait, for like a quick six, minute. Twelve, please. I want to get into prosthetics for lots of videos. Yeah, we need a prosthetic in-house guy. Yeah. yeah. So I think. <laughs> Another idea yeah. I had was uh, realistic prosthetics where we just looked exactly like ourselves, but it was just a layer of prosthetics. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you could pull your face off? Yeah. And reveal your face. Or maybe I get them to turn me into you. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Well, that's not a bad idea at all. And I could be turned into you. Just be big Zach. I, ew. <laughs> ew. What do you mean? Make any sense. It makes it any makes no, no sense. sense. I will say I have I had a friend who like had a big crush on his roommate and he was like, this is going to go so good. But like, I have to tell her I have to tell her like I can't do anything about it. And then he told her and then it like went horrible and he had to move out. And she was like, oh, it's just like I think the roommate crush thing is too roommate crush thing. You can't do a sober tell all that's just a gonna go tell all it, it, here's your answer tequila shots you gotta get so filthy drunk with yeah. that roommate one night this is wild advice yeah. <laughs> so filthy and then you tell them yeah when they're super drunk and then if it doesn't you know it doesn't stick. it's not reciprocated mm. doesn't matter you guys just got <laughs> no, hammered and you say uh so crazy i just yeah, I just used to have the biggest crush on you. Say oh, that's used to. Mm -hmm. nice. And she's like, and then she'll say maybe, oh, I used to have the biggest crush on you. It's like, and they're like okay, what well, can I tell you? I, I mean, I still have a little crush on you. Yeah. Every yeah. night when you're lolly banging that fireman, <laughs> I I'm wish that it was me. me. <laughs> I'm dreaming it's me. I want there. it to be me. Yeah, loud sex. But even if you don't have the crush on the person in a roommate situation is bad. Very bad. It's pretty uh, in, impolite. <laughs> yeah, how do you quell that? I guess you would just be loud back. With what? Like if you're just like moaning by yourself, man. You're just. Or, or you just. <laughs> what if you just put on a sitcom and just laugh so loud? Yeah. Or like be on the phone <laughs> out right side. And be like, yeah, no, that's crazy. What What did he say next? Just while they're having sex. Yeah. yeah right. right outside their door. You know. Okay. So Andrew, you probably talk the most about sex of all of us, and so loud sex to me is kind of like funny but is it hot <laughs> mm. it, um it depends <laughs> yeah it, it depends are you what noises are you making Woo! What, 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 that kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> then it's funny like it's but is it meant to be funny or yeah! is <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like if someone was like a really <laughs> loud moaner, yeah. I would I would laugh. <laughs> I oh would, my god. I would my be god, like, that's a crazy Zach. thing. Oh, I mean, this has become a yeah. sexy episode what of this podcast. Shit? What do you mean what the shit? I'm a loud that's that's is that's horrible. The reaction yeah, that, of a loud moaner right here. Well, or at least <laughs> yeah. a sympathetic moaner. Canonically, <laughs> Nick Ned is a very loud moaner. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. It's enough, Keith. Oh. Uh, it's enough. But. I would say loud sex almost always means it's good sex. Yeah, that's true. You're in by uninhibited. definition uninhibited. But mm. I think yeah. that there are people who are just prone to being loud regard. Yeah. I feel personally attacked right now. <laughs> I, I, we didn't <laughs> say it was I you. Guess you, are. you just said it was you. I mean, look, if I if someone's going like, "Oh! Uh, oh!" Uh, which is not a sound Maggie I would expect her to make, but yeah. I would laugh. 
Right. Well, it was such <laughs> a. I am yeah, so whatever. ashamed of you laughing at a partner. Yeah, that would be. That's horrible. Um, if I was laughing, I've done at, it. No, but I've done it though. I have laughed at a partner. Yeah, for, for sure. That, for exactly that noise. For making. <laughs> for making that loud. Just a loud noise. noise. Yeah, that. Exactly, <laughs> exactly that. I think the only person in the room in here who sleeps with men. Yeah. I've heard men make that noise. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you hear a lot stranger men or a lot stranger noises than we <laughs> a do. A lot stranger men than me. Yeah. Men make funny noises. Well, it's a vulnerable. <laughs> it's a vulnerable act. So any loud noise is like yeah. you know yeah, peak feel vulnerability. Feel like you're losing yourself in it. Also, right. I will say if you've never laughed during sex, who you missing out? You oh, have, it's hundo. okay to have, yeah, a, have a little fun. A little fun. A little. So sometimes you know. It's funny. Yeah, <laughs> it is funny. 100%. Yeah, it's funny. The whole thing is funny. You got to be funny. You got to be funny. I actually try and do my tight five. I was going to say, yeah, I, yeah. I, I normally prep a couple jokes. <laughs> you, yeah, what's your, what, your, your closer? Give me your uh, <laughs> closer. is normally like jokes about snowman. I come up with that. Snowman. No, yeah, it's classic. I when I take what's my up pan- with their noses? <laughs> when I take- Why are they made of carrots? <laughs> When I take my pants off, I go boing. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's. <laughs> like, it's like a Mario. Yeah. <laughs> Frosty, I don't even know you. <laughs> it's summertime, and you guys know I love being in the sun. I play uh, my soccer games on Sundays. I go to the park with my kids, but it's not fun having to protect my skin with sticky, greasy sunscreen. Thanks to Native Sunscreen, I get both face and body protection that's lightweight and doesn't leave me sticky or greasy. We're big fans of Native Sunscreen and their deodorant, but this is about the sunscreen because it's summer. They're easy to spread. They blend seamlessly on all skin tones, leaving a nice matte finish with zero streaks. I put it on the kids. I put it on me. Some of my favorite scents are the coconut and pineapple. You can get that scent of the summer. There's also rosé and for those with sensitive skin you can try unscented protect your skin with native's mineral-based sunscreens go to nativedo.com slash try guys or use promo code try guys at checkout to get 20 percent off your first order that's nativedeo.com slash try guys or use promo code try guys at checkout for 20 percent off your first order nativedeo.com slash try guys or use promo code try guys You probably have a lot planned this summer too, but don't let a packed schedule get in the way of constant comfort. MeUndies wants to make this summer the most comfortable one you'll never forget. Because when you're living your best life, the last thing you want to do is worry about butt sweat. I've been wearing MeUndies since the beginning. They've been a longtime friend of the pod, but even before they were a sponsor, we love them. Every month I get my new little pack, a bunch of different vibrant colors, and... It's lightweight and breathable. I don't get that swamp ass anymore. MeUndies also releases new prints all the time, like their limited edition pride collection. You can match with your partner, friends, even your dog, and you can find your ultimate summer comfort in size extra small to 4XL. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off. For a limited time, if you sign up for their free-to-join MeUndies membership, you get 25% off your first membership item. To get 15% off your first order, 25% off your first membership item, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash TryGuys. That's MeUndies.com slash TryGuys. She says, okay, next question. <laughs> well, all right here. It seems like we solved this question. You should not tell. You should move. <laughs> you, should, you should move away. Far, far It's probably away. a misguided crush. I would imagine. Maybe you should go down to the... Station. Fire station and look for a lady. <laughs> Ooh, become oh. an arsonist. <laughs> uh, Interesting. <laughs> Start nice. setting okay. small fires so that he's so busy <laughs> yeah. he can't right. have sex with your roommate. Uh-huh. And then you can uh-huh. be like, seems like he's not around anymore, which is crazy because like I kind of used to have a crush on you. Wow, we synthesized it all. Boom, you're welcome. Mm. Bada bing, wow. bada bang. That fires. Uh, Andrew, can I get a fake name to name this person? Are they... A female identified person? I believe they're a female identifier. Mary. Mary, it is. The, 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 More the, thoughtful <laughs> than when we name. Usually our names are like spaghetti or something. M A H R E. Mary. Mary. Dear Miles and everyone else. Awesome that they put my name first. Here we go. My name is Mary, and I have Mary. run out of all other routes for advice, which is why I turned to you. Well, mm. we should have been your first choice. Frankly, <laughs> I have made such horrible, some horrible, horrible decisions that I have no clue what the fuck to do. 
have committed murder. No, I'm just kidding. Um, basically, <laughs> I'm in my first year of university, which is where I met one of my very close friends, Peter. Peter has been in a long distance relationship with a woman in Australia for the first two and a half years and is going to visit her for the first time since COVID started for the summer. Hello. He'll be living with her for the next four months. <laughs> Hold on. Was that your Aussie accent? Because it was really <laughs> bad. Hello. Hello, Mary. Hello, Peter. <laughs> also, she said first like, year of university, which means this person's probably from the UK. That's true. Uni. <laughs> Okay. Uni. Hello. More like Shrimp on the barber. Very good. Kind of Kermit the Frog. Yeah. It goes ca- down under. under. A kangaroo. Yeah. Oh, am I? Uni, more like uni, because that's what I'm putting on my fish. A few days ago, a group of our friends went out, and at the end of the night, <gasps> Peter kissed me. Oh! oh. Then uh. we kissed again. Oh! And again. Oh! Uh. Woo! <laughs> 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 was that you saying whoa with an Australian whoa. accent? Really a stupid decision, but we were drunk. I'm just not sure what to do now. Wow. Also, these are both like roommate related. Um, and you romances. said Peter's going away for four months. Yeah, to live with this woman in Australia. <laughs> oh, so he's Australia. planning on leaving. Yeah. Australia. And he's been in yeah. a long distance relationship. Oh, shit. So yeah. it's a long distance relationship that's getting a little serious. Yeah. Uh oh. Does Mary also, like Peter? Uh, Mary clearly likes Peter seemingly. Well, they kissed three uh, times. Also, yeah. So, Mwah. also, we've Mwah. already signed a contract Mwah. and we're living like together Beetle next juice. year. <gasps> oh, oh, so it just, after the four months. Yeah. Oh, that's so dangerous. it just keeps getting worse. Now mm. I'm not sure what to do because I feel horribly guilty, but also I'm not sure I did anything too wrong, but I knew about his girlfriend. Peter kissed you. Any advice on any podcast or even a response would be great because everything feels like it's getting worse and worse with every passing moment. Thank well, you. we're here to solve your problems. Damn right. We're going to fix your life. <laughs> Yeah, Lickety damn right. split. <laughs> Lickety split. Let's see. How many miles away is London from Sydney? A hmm. lot. Do you think that? I if think it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's true. <laughs> so we're once again getting into a situation where you are going to be living with someone that you want, like that you like, <laughs> yeah. but they like. Does this touch any of your lives? Any personal experience? Yeah. I never lived with a, a crush. I don't think uh, I've ever lived you know, with a girl. I always lived with. <laughs> Four to five other men. Uh, <laughs> Ariel. Five other bricks. Like yeah, always a yeah, bunch, yeah, a a bunch, bunch of boys. Bro and party. then moved mm. in with Becky. Right. Okay. Same, same. Okay. But she wasn't dating anyone else at the time. That's tough. I've lived with ladies, but uh, none of them were in any way romantic to me. Andrew, have you ever hooked up with uh, someone in a friend group? I have not. Okay. Yeah. But I have lived with a bunch of dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Also. And I'm, I'm like... Keith, that was a romantic problem for me because yeah. they were mm. all dudes that were straight and I Hot. couldn't bang them. Yeah. So <laughs> I think sucked. the Now how straight were they? Were they like straight? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean they could they could they could walk the line. They could walk the line. Yeah, I mean, does that? Did you ever get into one of those situations where you were like, hey, it would be a lot nicer if you weren't? You have. <laughs> I've slept with them straight people. I can't deny it. So I, because I've hooked up with friends in college. Sure. Um, and then we just became friends. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe I'm just so far removed from college that like yeah. I forget how intense those emotions felt. College is a different time. I feel like, you know, it's okay. Like in this case, my opinion, you didn't do anything wrong. He's going to go live with her for four months. They're going to fall deeper in love. He's probably just unsure or who you did, knows. You just sound a little wrong. She did. I don't know. Well, the don't second know. the second kiss, maybe is less on. I him. think it's forgivable. The roommate thing right. is is not the story here. It's the it's the long distance relationship thing yeah. where it's yeah. like he's like <clears throat> he's in this relationship with someone, but they live in Australia. But did they meet it through like the pandemic over Zoom? And it's different. Yeah, maybe they maybe he's from Australia. The or, guy or Peter sh- or the woman's from the UK, and she like they she, were high school sweethearts, and yeah. then moved to Australia. I just think four months is such an eternity for like for you for this girl. I don't care about Peter. I care about Marie. Yeah, Marie. Marie. And Marie. Like, Marie. You got four Marie. months now to go do other stuff. Forget this guy. Go mingle. Do your thing. He's going to come back. Either he's going to be in a relationship or he won't be, mm. and just be a friend. Yeah, I guess mm. you know. Unless he's like 
coming to you and saying, I'm in this relationship, but actually I think I like you and I don't know what to do. Then it's really just have your summer. He'll have his summer. Yeah. Your first year of university, you're 18 or 19. There's so much life left. Just go have a summer of fun. Well, I mean, that's true. For sure. You should just fuck around all summer. But when they come back, (laughs) if that's what you want, when they come back, that's what you want. Oh, I don't mean sleep around, although that is an option. (laughs) That's in there. Uh, (laughs) What what are we really going to suggest? Say say the guy does fall deeper in love. And then he comes back, he's in this long distance relationship, but they've already kind of had a moment together. You're really going to be putting yourself in that situation? I wouldn't do it. It uh, depends how much she likes him. And I think it's up to you to like <laughs> basically go like other people. I, maybe I'm crazy. I lived with someone that I had hooked up with once. What? And it just like was not weird for us at all. What? Yeah, I, but I we mean, didn't like each other. We just, we hooked up once and it was like a thing. It's college though. Everyone's <clears throat> freaking, you know. Everybody's lips are lipping. Fingers and toes. I think that's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that's enough. That's, that's so. Together. I don't, I don't know. I mean, especially with the long distance thing. It's one thing if it's like, oh, we hooked up and now, you know, they're, yeah. they're in a relationship and the girlfriend's there all the time. Yeah. Ned's also picturing the story with very loud moaning. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of think it's like college is the time for shit to be messy and a little fun. Mm, I so mm-hmm. I think that it's like if you're, it sounds like so they're like freshman love or letters sophomore all so, summer. Kind of, well, it's just like if Peter's going to go Keep and he's an gonna iron in the fire, <laughs> this girlfriend that they're going to break up. Put like your, I think he's going to break up with his girlfriend. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's college they're, If they were high school sweethearts, I They're don't not know. making it. How Unlikely. what percentage of high school sweethearts it, does it last through? It's college. With long Put your toe in a wet sprocket. Yeah. Put your toe in a wet sprocket, <laughs> as Zach said. Are you trying you to make a electrocute yourself? Nope. Reference? No. Nope. A Just wet sprocket. A wet sprocket. The more you say it, the the worse it becomes. What's a, your What's toe? a sprocket? It's, I don't it's know. meant to be, you know, it's it was for gear. people that know and then you just move on. And then yeah, sure. And I uh yeah, I don't know. It seems like it's also I don't think it's Mary's fault at all. I don't think that no. Mary did anything wrong. No. Because it's not Mary's. Mary's not in the relation. She doesn't know the girl. Is it cheating if you're single? No. Interesting. Is it, is it messy in gray? Potentially. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But are you like, I was in college once. Are you there? I, I think they're 18. Yeah, they're in uni. Yeah. They're in uni. So, you're so if I hook up with Keith, in- he's cheated on <laughs> Becky, but I haven't cheated on... <laughs> no, 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 you're also engaged. Well, forget a- that. Andrew, I have a question. Andrew, have you single, ever been yeah. in a like situation similar to this, or have you ever gone through a, I like this person, but that person's in a relationship, but they also like you? Have you ever been in a, you know, a messy situation? I have not been in a situation. typical 90s rom com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would watch it though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have been in this situation in college, okay. specifically early okay. on, okay. and there was sort of a messy where the person did have a boyfriend, uh-huh. and I was the other mistress. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. and I didn't. It didn't last. Like it was like a, a isolated incident. This actually happened to me a couple different times, <laughs> but where I was the mistress. Couple different isolated incidents. A couple different isolated incidents with Just, different people, and I was always the mistress. And at a certain point, I was like, "You signify the the I other, signify the, the other man, the other." And it was usually fantasy. People who, yeah, it was usually people who were like, uh, it was like freshman year or somewhere or whatever, and they were like, "I have like a high school." I've always wanted to be from, with a tall nerd, <laughs> like a tall geek who like does improv, who doesn't wear Just shoes. With this was, How jock. fucking dare you? I did wear shoes in college <laughs> and in high school. I don't know why. I'm, Qualifying it, but uh, yeah, yeah, those shoes are falling apart. Are those? Hey, let them alone. Hey, okay, shoes. so what happened? what happened? But generally, it was like I didn't do anything wrong. If they were gonna do their thing, this is at least how I justified it then. Mm-hmm. I think once you're out of college, it's different because you're like a grown adult. But in college, it's like you can't be. Everyone's fingers and toes are in each other's butts and mouth. <laughs> you know, so I feel. Like, you ever heard of butt and mouth disease? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I just think it's like you can't be too worried about like, like you can only control yourself in college. It's a wild west. If you ask everybody who, if they're in a relationship in college, then mm-hmm. it's like most likely they've got some sort Especially of Especially like, I feel like yeah. college is actually best when almost everyone is single yeah. and just agrees that at parties, you kind of couple up for the party yeah. and then the party's over and then that was the relationship. You got to study. Made out with this person at this party. Right. And then next party, I'm making out with this other person. We're still friends. There were some people that were like, this is my 
partner. I've been with them since freshman year. Mm-hmm. But most people, it's more like well, fluid, you know, yeah, maybe go on a couple fast. of dates. We're drunk. We're making out. Yeah, what's done. funny is that if this were a movie, yeah. we'd be like, that's a bad thing. But we're presuming that college emotions don't actually matter. And I, yeah. I'm, a, I am on board with that. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm thinking about the end of Scott Pilgrim where he admits to Knives that he oh. cheated on her. And then she's like, you cheated on both of us? Like, well, no, I cheated on knives with you <laughs> and she's like what's the difference and it's like th- that moment pause right. it's like it doesn't matter if you are unfaithful you've cheated on people mm-hmm. yeah but we're like nah it's college fucking dip your toe in the wet sprocket what? baby let's go <laughs> there's the australia about it right like yeah. australia you know, about it it's international that's a really hard relationship to keep like maybe it's on maybe it's like on the decline right like maybe yeah. they're unsure they're going on this trip but like do they really like where is it going in the future yeah yeah. I think it's also, way different if it's like, yeah, I went on a date with them. Was that Andrew? But in Australia is hot. He might get there and be like, you know what? You and I are not working out. See you later. That is a great <laughs> yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. I, I know. I'm really glad twist, you brought yeah. that up because that's a wrinkle. How yeah. hot do you think the firefighters in Australia are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like oh, really, kangaroos. Really God. Uh, well, how would you rank uh, Australia, Canada, America and mm. the UK in terms of like hotness, sexiness, Hot. yeah. yeah, boys, tough. I'm Canadian, so so number Canada one, first, Canada number wow. one. Yeah. So checks out, you're making me think out. we should have Eugene do ranking <laughs> hot countries. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a bad idea. Oh man, that's great. I love it. And I mean, I was born in the states. Mm. Born in Orange County, so, so that's four, a hot county. Four, like yeah. yeah, it's a hot county, and then Cali. Yeah. You okay? I'm sorry. You don't think Australia's number? Australia is so hot. I think Australia is hot bias. as hell. But they're all surfers. After you've been there for a couple of weeks, you're like, okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. You go to the gym. That's very nice for you. So yeah, you know, so, I get it. It's so hot from here. Orange County. Yeah, they're all surfers. Orange <laughs> County's all surfers. <laughs> Orange County, Australia. Australia yeah. They're surfers. Is all. At least in Canada, there's snow. Yeah. If you rank America oh. number two, you, you're counting Indianapolis. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we've come out sturgently against Indianapolis before on the pod. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To Bodied apologize. Indianapolis. Yeah. <laughs> Bodied. You're not anywhere as hot as Australia. Yeah, it's different. Or Canada. They, they, I mean, or I think everybody's County. okay with that. Like, I don't think Indianapolis would be upset that you say you're, they're not as hot as Australia. They'd be like, yeah. We're going to okay. get more emails. We're going to get more emails, Keith. <laughs> I know, if I, you're from Indianapolis no. and you think that you're hotter than someone in Australia... Prove it. Send, send a pic and then send a rant. Then Google hot Australian and then put, do give us a side Prove by it. side. Did yeah. I tell you guys about personality counts as part of the equation? <laughs> Did I tell you guys about the Lou Burger booking that happened most recently in Australia? No. <gasps> Indianapolis. In yeah. Indianapolis. Yes, no. dude. You went there? No, but I'm going to be playing uh, a show in Indianapolis. Not just any show. A fundraiser. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Indian- for, for a charity is it, in Indianapolis. Is You're going to be off stage, dude. Is I'm a charity concerned. making Indianapolis less shitty? I don't. I, I, I have to start really <laughs> That's so funny. walking back <laughs> to my position. No, I think you should double down. No, I don't want the people. I don't want the fundraiser not to make money because people are like, that's the guy who hates Indianapolis. I'm not buying a ticket to that what show. If you but you can get in- local news coverage. Ooh. Yeah. And, and it's a fundraiser, right? Like, yeah. come to boo me. You should do at least a TikTok video where you're you come you're like, hey, I want everyone to boo me. You guys come out and you get booed by the whole crowd. You can put yourself in a dunk tank for charity. There you oh, go. From oh, Indianapolis good. can take their rage dunk out. on me. No, but yeah. they're gonna have to, you know, get the target. And we know that people in Indianapolis have that. <laughs> oh hey, oh. <laughs> this is slander. Do they have dunk tanks in Canada? Too cold. And we do. I don't know how I would be the authority on whether or not they have big, dunk big, tanks big in Canada. Carnival, big carnival. Do you have what, when you were in festivals. elementary school and you needed to embarrass your principal? How did you do yeah, it? Yeah, isn't the principal can go big dunk tank? Then yes, um, we had one in that very specific <laughs> scenario. We have. Yeah. <laughs> for that exact there we go. Scenario. That's there what they're go. for. They're for carnivals at your school where you dunk yeah. the Spanish teacher or the principal. Just the Spanish <laughs> teacher. You know. oh, well, in Canada, true. we didn't do Spanish. We did French. French. Yeah. Oh, that's Which right. Which makes sense. Montreal. Nice. Quebec. <laughs> Quebec. Quebec. Yeah. Quebec. I have no follow up to this, but Andrew, something that we said earlier made me realize that there have been no 
uh, disabled rom coms, and I think that we should change that. So mm. we'll all um, should change that. There haven't really been any of those, and yeah. I would be down to yeah. star like right, and be. direct one. Here's yeah. a here's a thought experiment. Back to that story, because so a friend of mine in college, he has in a relationship that was like going down the tubes. Right, he was like, ah. Uh, feel like we need to break up. I don't know when to break up. I mm-hmm. feel like uh, this relationship is not working out. Kind of wanted to break up. But they had a vacation to the Caribbean oh, planned. Oh, no. <laughs> do, do you <laughs> go on the trip, break up after the trip, Mm-mm. go on the trip, break up during mm, the trip. No, 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 not, no, not an option. Mm, Ooh, yeah, no. Not go on the trip. Break up before the trip and go. Take a friend. Take a friend. Or let them or take their ticket. <laughs> you take your ticket and like find a new room. <laughs> yeah. That would be kind of fun. You both see each other like it's like Temptation Island. Yeah. I think you go. You break up before the trip. I, yeah, could, I mean, that's the ethical thing to do. I think yeah. I've done that <laughs> in past relationships. Been like we have a trip coming up. I, there's no way or like you have a birthday coming up. I have to do it a month before the birthday. There's no way I can get through your birthday mm. with all your friends knowing that I'm going to be. Dumping your ass. Dumping your ass. <laughs> yeah. Girl. <laughs> Maybe that's what was happening with this caller. Yeah. Right? I feel like oh. we, this episode, we've revealed ourselves to be just terrible people. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not bad. But, but if it's time. a really fun trip. I mean, it is fun to be on a little couple's trip. So maybe you do the trip, and then as soon as the flight touches down <laughs> in your hometown. Oh, that's you, horrible. No. You say, this is all a ruse. You've been played. <laughs> what if the trip saves the relationship? The trip could save the relationship, but it's rare that an, a trip is less stressful. Your mind is, is made stressful. up. Unlikely. Any sort of trip feels very stressful. Anyway, speaking of stressful, <gasps> we have another segment here. Uh, Andrew, I don't know if you're familiar with this segment, but it's called Celebrities. They're just like us head to head. Where we, I'm pe- not, but I'm we, ready. Yeah. You're well, not? You're not. Well, it's an internationally <laughs> no, renowned uh, renowned, fa- famous, yeah. renowned. Segment. Webby award winning, Webby segments. award winning. Well, after the Webby, but everything <laughs> went downhill after that. Anyway, so we, got it, the we spring, we did our thing. <laughs> <laughs> we got the spring. We did our thing. So the way this segment works is I'm going to give a regular scenario and two celebrities and you're going to decide which celebrity of the two would help you navigate this life scenario. That's sort of run of the mill and regular and normal. Sick. You have a stain on your shirt that you didn't know about. Snoop Dogg or Katy Perry? Oh. Okay. Snoop gets high a lot. Yeah. So he's probably spilled a lot of things on his shirt. Yeah. Great point. And he probably have no problem telling me yeah. that there was something there. Dude, he loves <laughs> but mustard. Katy Perry wears a lot of cool things in her videos. Yeah. That she probably... <laughs> I don't know how I'm connecting these together, but... <laughs> Who do you think notices first? Katie. I Snoop's think Katie's too high. Bad. Yeah, Snoop's too stoned. Really? I See, I'm having trouble imagining Katy Perry being discreet. I don't know why, Yeah, but I'm. I, it's hard for me to her, imagine. I feel like she'd make a big deal about it. Right. In front of everyone? Right. In front of everybody. Oh my God, Zach, you have something on your shirt. Katie! <laughs> and yeah. Snoop's just like, hey man, you got some, yeah. got some mustard. Yeah, a little mustard. Hey, it happens to nobody, me too. Nobody... Here's yeah. it. Snoop yeah. might even put a little mustard on his shirt. I was shirt. gonna say the same Snoop, thing. I yeah. think Snoop would be like, hey, Makes you know it what? Cool. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. We've <laughs> all got friends. It. Yeah. Snoop is wow. like a real friend, I He's think. He's a good guy. I hope there's a scenario <laughs> where I can smoke weed with Snoop. Yeah, definitely. Before I don't know. Before it's too late. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm not he's going to die soon. It's just that I'm not in a place yet where I think I'll run into him career wise and we can share a J because I hear he's very down to smoke a J with people all the time. And I'm Put like, it out I there want in the that universe right now for him. Be like, hey, mm-hmm. Snoop, come we on the show. Create a show. <laughs> a try guys, try smoking weed with Just Snoop Dogg. Just to pitch Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I, I think that's a good video. Really good video. I, I wanted to do a video Hot ones, but with, mm. with weed. <laughs> just gets oh, yeah, can you, with that's the actually, interview show where someone gets progressively more high. That's not Nothing. a bad idea. You take another hit from yeah. a bong. The first one, yeah. you'd be fucked up. it's probably been done before, but a hundred percent. Yeah, uh, you can actually though buy weed specifically that's got like a low THC if you really try. Like you could get yeah really low grade and actually up the THC of this and just do joints. But be like, okay, so this is this strain. It's 15% this and this, and then this one is like, okay, this is 20. So, but the crazy thing about that is you're like exponentially, <laughs> yeah, it's really exponentially. So higher. I actually, I bought not to give a free sponsor, but it was like advertised as parents weed and it D- was dad, dad grass. 
Yeah, yeah. Dad Grat. I, oh, I wasn't going to say that. Oh, the sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, uh, yeah. I was like, how do I say it? Probably? Yeah, so this one's called Dad Grass and Mom Grass. But Should there's I also invest? diet, diet, smoke. Should you invest? <laughs> sure, go nuts. Yeah. Uh, but like the, it's specifically advertised as weak weed. Yeah. And this brand specifically is like, like your parents used to smoke. And I frankly... That's little, what I want. I yeah. miss... Like, I don't <laughs> think I can smoke weed with Snoop because my tolerance is not... That well, high. I mean, it's not going to make it a regular occurrence. Yeah, so it's just right, going to be a special once. birthday treat for me. But when yeah. I was like on the East Coast and I was buying shitty weed, it would like I would smoke and in 30 minutes I'd be sober again. And yeah, like, yeah. I kind of miss it. Or at least like you'd have a few hits and be able to still do whatever it is you were doing before. <laughs> rather yeah. than like, well, I'm totally just scrolling TikTok now. So California <laughs> weed is known to be like more oh, potent. too strong. Yeah, if you, huh. I usually get really low just because it's it'll fuck you up. It's too oh. much. It makes you high, high, like high, IPAs. High. Just like an, it's like the IPA of. Oh, I've weed. talked about this uh, maybe once before with Zach, but it's like the difference between drinking and smoking. The biggest difference is that drinking is a you drink yeah. over the course of time, you get slightly more drunk throughout the night. Smoking yeah. is as if you took four shots and waited. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly you're like, oh, well, now I'm suddenly really high, and there's yeah. nothing you can do about it. We joke it's like jumping out of an airplane, where yeah. just you're like. Ah! And now I'm getting less high and yeah, less high. You and don't less know high how high you're going high to be yeah. when you that start. When you difficult, it can be. <laughs> <laughs> it can be difficult. If you don't know. You don't know. It's why. And that's why a lot of people like when reporters would be like, "We just became legalized, so I'm going to go buy weed for the first time and eat a whole chocolate bar of 200 milligrams of THC." It's like this is dangerous. This is too much. I was out like, of my mind. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course uh-huh. you were. Like, you gobbled up way too much weed. <laughs> 200 milligrams. Well, okay, so okay, it sounds like we're talking Snoop Dogg back there. Back to celebs. Um, your garden got fucked by beetles who ate all your crops. Robert Downey Jr. or Bella Porch? <laughs> Bella Porch. <laughs> because because Porch is in her name, well, and that's a I backyard thing. She yeah. would be like, oh, no, this is no good. Yeah. And uh, Andrew, do you know who Bella Porch is? Because she's not that famous. I mean, no, I'm not thinking. Am I thinking of the one that started OnlyFans and then was like, I made $2 million dollars and then ran away? That Bella Thorne. Now, that's Bella, Bella Thorne. Thorne. Bella Porch is on TikTok, and she does this. She's kind of like, mm, bring, bring. She, she had the song face. Build a Bitch. <laughs> build a Bitch is a song she had. She build a Bitch. Did Maybe I'm you too don't old. get to pick and choose. Yeah, that's fair. I <laughs> 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 for a story about how maybe I met her. What? Maybe. That's right. Oh, where probably at the where party. can we listen to the after button? <laughs> Patreon. Dot com Patreon. slash try guys. Slash try guys. Wow. wow. That's right. Cool. But cool. I think Robert Downey Jr. might be like, uh, <laughs> your Beatles we got it in all your crops. Sorry, that's I just really... don't see Robert that... <laughs> Downey Jr. gardening with me. That was my Robert can you, Downey Jr. Can you do your Robert Downey Jr. one more time? Uh, the fucking Beatles ate all your <laughs> <laughs> Crops? Not bad. My, what is not my, bad. Uh, What happened to your crops, smart face? <laughs> it sounds like a uh, Winona Ryder impression. <laughs> pretty good. I think yeah, it's pretty good. Seems like the Beatles ate all your crops, fuck face. It's gonna... I think that's... <laughs> getting it's a little vulnerable. Vulnerable. It's pretty okay, impressive. Okay, you do it. No. Let's see you, Jack. Come on. Let's see your Robert Downey Jr. impression. Okay, I'm modulating my voice. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The truth is, Beatles did eat my crops. No. Yeah, no, Miles what? was way, Miles was okay, was way okay. better. Way kind of better. friend are you, Ned? I, right, I've been your, saying his is great yours. all the time. Let's hear yours. Mine's Thanks, probably Ned. not very let's good. Let's hear yours. Let's I've hear been complimenting Miles. Yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> What's happening? What? <laughs> 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 Ned, so <laughs> yeah, Fair enough. That's, and Andrew, that's Fair a good enough. question. Great that's question. a really good question. Great Ned question. is pausing for dramatic effect before he does Iron his Man. killer Robert Downey yeah. Jr. impression. <laughs> and I understand that, yeah, you might have been like, is the video frozen? Because Ned's been waiting for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, what's occurring? <laughs> Let's hear it, Ned. Let's go. What sort of Beatles are these fuckface? <laughs> Uh, so I think yes. Bella no, I, I, I want to apologize. <laughs> Ned was right. Mine sucked, and that ruled. Yeah, that Bella really Porch good. would at least like make a TikTok with you about the Porch situation, which might garner you some more TikTok followers, and yeah. that, I think yeah. that would be better. Because yeah. Robbie, don't, like, what's he going to do for you? Right, he's going to show he up, could turn into Iron Man, and then, and then if he could turn into Iron Man, yeah, mm. that would be yes. dope as hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right though. 
if, he, if Robert be pretty sick. showed up as Iron Man and started flying around with his hands, yeah. that'd be fucking amazing. And you'd probably blast more holes in your yard. Yeah, blast yeah all but I need to reef soil anyway. The, the Beatles. Are Beatles. 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 Right. It's too bad. Beatles. They, what right. if it was the band, <laughs> the Beatles, that were ripping up your oh, garden? Oh, wow. <laughs> then Bella Porch. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You can so only fight icons. music with even better music. Yeah, yeah I mean, exactly. the prob- Beatles, realistically, they probably just have like eaten little holes in all the crops. So you yeah, got to yeah. pull them all up, yeah. replant them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's right. And you got to get to the root of the problem, which is where are the Beatles coming from? Root of the problem? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, that seems uh, like we're going with Bella Porch on that mm, one. What's, <clears throat> what's going on, fuckface? Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, bad impression. <laughs> um, but yeah, Andrew, sorry, we Robert Downey Jr. or Bella Porch? I don't remember if I got what you answer. I guess I'm going to go with Bella Porch. Hell Absolutely. yeah. Yeah, that's correct. This ain't build a garden. Bella. Yeah. Okay. Consoling you about your parking ticket, Nicole Kidman or a guy who just got back from his vacation in Rome? Okay. Obviously, <laughs> we're going to go. Obviously. Somehow, getting a park- parking ticket feels good in a place like this. Nicole Kidman, let's fucking mm, go. Yeah. Wait, do you guys... We're finally back on the streets. That's right. Parking again. Nicole is really... She's giving it, giving it her all. But Andrew, I do you know this? I don't know if this has made its way to Canada. The AMC commercial starring Nicole Kidman... I saw it on a YouTube, but okay. I didn't watch so, it enough. To, I, I didn't memorize it like you did. So, so yeah. well, we're forced to watch it every time we see a movie, and it's so yeah. cringy. AMC gobbled up all the theaters I during applaud. the pandemic. Yeah. I applaud it. So, for those who don't know, a, before every AMC movie now, they have this minute long Nicole Kidman commercial. <laughs> yeah. And it was written by, I'm blank, I think his name is Billy Ray, not to be confused with Billy Ray Cyrus. Uh, who is an Oscar-winning screenwriter. I might be getting this wrong, but I know that whatever the guy's name is, he was paid a million dollars to write this ad. They spent so much money on this commercial, and it is so cringy. And it was like maybe a little sweet the first time. Yeah. And now it's just like... Even the first time, I was like, the fuck is this? (laughs) Uh, If if anything's going to make people hate people from California more. It's that. this. Yeah. It's it's just such yeah, a Hollywood like uh, aren't the movies and celebrities doing things on screen <laughs> yes. so important. It feels nice to watch them make money, doesn't it? <laughs> I love being in an empty a theater as a rich escape. lady. I'm like, yes. this is so rude. <laughs> <laughs> like, where is she? Why is she doing this? Also, her theater is nicer than a majority of theaters in the country. Yeah. It's also, like, it's like, imagine Nicole Kidman going to a movie oh, theater. Shit. She's never been to yeah. a movie theater, never in, her been a movie theater in her life. Uh, uh, AMC, we love movies. We love you. But I you know what AMC. we love more than Nicole Kidman? A cheap CGI roller coaster with little popcorn oh, floating in the air. Yeah. I want to... It look. should be Guy Fieri. Oh. That would be fucking It should rad. be Guy Fieri. It's like, somehow, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Pow. Flavor Town. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> or, hear me out, some... Somehow heartbreak feels good in a place like this, fuck face. <laughs> <laughs> and who is that? Yeah. that was oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Somehow it was my catchphrase calling people fuck face. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck face. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> mate, uh, heartbreak feels good in a place like this, fuck face. Is that Gordon Ramsay? Or? No, it was wow. Robert Downey Jr. Was, oh, wow. British, British wow. Danny Jr. Australian Danny Jr. That wasn't very British. Somehow, 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 somehow. We feel like Nicole Kidman. I don't know. I think the guy who just got back from Rome might be like, you know, hey, in the grand scheme of things, I was in Rome. I was in Rome, and this is not that big of a deal. Wait, what's he consoling me about? <laughs> the par- parking ticket. <laughs> parking ticket. Parking ticket. He might be like, you know, I've seen the sites, and Rome is actually a very old city, and, and when you think about the grand scheme of history, a parking ticket's not such a big right. deal. And Nicole Kidman might be like, I don't, you know. How many parking tickets have been written over the last 2,000 years? Right, yeah. uh, you know, uh, Emperor um, Cleocles actually wrote the first ever parking ticket. I got to see it hmm. at the Vatican nice, in Rome. Yeah. The first and thing. And Nicole Kidman's just <laughs> clapping with her yeah. fing- long she- fingers <laughs> outstretched. I don't know if you've ever tasted the gelato. <laughs> Um, or the Rome, yeah. yeah, the Arabiata of Rome. Oh, it's man. just, it's to die for. Great sauce. Speaking of dying um, gladiators. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Andrew, to bring it back to our the topic where we started, mm. sex. Uh, Ooh, you right. are actually working on a really cool product right now. You started a sex company or sex toy company specifically for disabled people. I started a sex toy company with my sister. 
called Bumpin, and we are creating the first line of sex toys for and by disabled people. That's so cool. That's rad. I mean, I think something that's super cool about what you do, too, is that like talking about sex and talking about sex toys is something that is stigmatized, uh, but also talking about sex within the disability community. Like people don't do it, but disabled people have sexual needs just like everyone else. They do. And so part of what we do in, in our work is to bring those conversations to light because people with disabilities are having sex. Unfortunately, we're just not talking about it. Yeah. Is, is there a product you're particularly excited about? Yes, there is a product that I'm particularly excited about. So we have <laughs> created the joystick, which is like if you put a body pillow and a foam roller had a love child, <laughs> that would be what this toy is. Emphasis and on love just, child. Hey. Yeah. And for people with limited hand function. So mm -hmm. my hands are all gimped up. So I'm unable to do a lot of <laughs> self-pleasuring. <laughs> because of disability. Mm -hmm. So we designed this toy so that somebody with hand limitations would be able to hug into the toy, put a toy off the shelf in the bottom part of the toy, and then fuck themselves, basically. With <laughs> wow. The toy. Yeah. That's great. That's awesome. So you showed me a prototype, and like it is like, a yeah, it's like a really soft-looking body pillow with then a really easy holder. Um, and the idea is that even if you have hand limitations, what you can like any, is it, is it compatible with any toy or is it specifically you guys are gonna be making your own toys or what? We're making our own toys, hopefully within, uh, the next little bit. Thanks COVID for ruining everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> right now it's compatible with most toys off the shelf. So oh. wands, dildos, sleeves, and basically you put the toy in one of the holes Pun intended, and then um, <laughs> you can you can hopefully fuck yourself with the toy. Is the slogan "Go fuck yourself"? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> hey, go fuck yourself. Uh, slogan is putting pleasure within reach. Nice. Mm, That's probably better. better. What about "Come fuck yourself"? Okay. Of go. All right. Easy, Keith. Mm, nice. well, 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 it wasn't spelled yourself. with a U. <laughs> <laughs> easy, Keith. So bumping B U M P N. Bumping, yeah. Bumping. Mm, and then nice. if people are interested, uh, what, like, it's, is it pre sale now or if they just want to get in, like, so it, just get more information, what, what can they do? So now, and so it's, it's Masturbation May when we're recording this right now. So, absolutely. What we're, do, what we're doing is we are urging a lot of non disabled people to donate and fund an orgasm. Uh, so this is right. We talked about this. Yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah. You can fund an O. F and O. That's, tell me where. Tell me where. <laughs> tell me where. I'll tell me where. Where, where, where do I find the takes. orgasm? At getbumpin.com. You can put down. Now the price of the toy right now is two forty nine US. So we're asking a lot of non disabled people who may have more funding than a lot of disabled people because they live on limited incomes. Mm -hmm. So we're asking them to think about what's going to happen if they couldn't self pleasure, if they couldn't masturbate or get off. How uncool and unfun that would be and how much you would want to have access to that. So we're asking non-disabled folks to think about that and put some money down so we can um, we can sell a, a run of 500. Okay. Nice. I'm going to go back in time. Okay. Let's say <laughs> your roommate is fucking a firefighter oh, really, right. really oh, loud. That's you right. know how people uh, have yep. a swear jar. Uh -huh. You're going to have a moan jar. Yep. Every time Play they like moan this. too loud, mm -hmm. they got to fund an orgasm. You're going to make mm -hmm. them, you're going to show up to the room post coitus and you're going to have yeah. a jar and be like, hi, I counted 13. Uh, 13, 13 moans. 13, 13 moans. Dollars, please. That's right. I love this though. Anyone out there listening, obviously Andrew is awesome. You've been listening to him for this hour. You know that he's great. You can directly pay to help him have an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful <laughs> thing. And other people. And, and other others. people. Yeah. Not just me, others. <laughs> <laughs> we can all have orgasms. So whatever yeah. motivates you. I've been fundraising for my own orgasms for too long, but it's about, <laughs> it's about time that someone who actually needs it. Yeah, no, that, I think that's a great um, endeavor. It makes a lot of sense, and you're right. It's not something I have heard talked about enough, yeah. uh, but obviously every single person has some amount of sexual need, yeah. right? And not everybody has the same access. So I think it's what you're doing is really cool. Really excited. I mean, it's long overdue, and the fact that you know this kind of toy is not out there right now is just tells you how much it's needed. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was something that was hugely eye opening in the disability podcast that we did is like, if you just put disabled people in more powers of position, there are things that will make their lives better and everyone's lives better that disabled people know mm-hmm. through mm-hmm. lived experience. And so I think it's fucking awesome that you are, you know, taking uh, uh, you and your sister are teaming up to to create this thing because you know better than anyone uh, a need that, that you have, that your friends have, that, that people within the community have. And so you're making it happen. Why it's so important too is because like all of you in the room right now, there are three of you in the room who are not, who are currently not disabled, who who are going to be one day. And when you do become disabled, you're going to want to have great sex with yourself or with someone else. Yeah. So really you're funding for your future too. Oh, yeah. That's, That's a great way cool. to think of it. Well, I encourage everybody listening to go uh, donate. Oh, yeah, I what's, the, what's the URL? What's the link again? It's getbumpin.com. .com. Getbumpin.com. And B-U-M-P-N. There's no I it, in yeah. bumpin. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, There's I, in no I in bumpin. It's a Although it, I, I think it actually is about how you're the I in bumpin. Uh, and also, it only occurred to me now, but as you're talking, your microphone has a little wire hanging down, and it does kind of look oh. like the outline of a tiny dick. Oh, <laughs> well, don't nice. say that. It's, nice. on his, it's on his face. <laughs> well, could be, could be a good thing. Just Unlike some of you in the room, I don't mind dicks my face. It's okay. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Some Honestly. Of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, it's time uh, uh, for our next segment. Well, which, if you need a tiny dick in your face. Yeah, you need a right. tiny dick in your face. And you're looking me. for other motivation. <laughs> How about you get it from Miles Montignori? Advice time. It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Can you imagine if we ended the, the disability and COVID episode oh of, my God. of the tripod with this? <laughs> oh, my advice is soda. <laughs> well, if you're disabled during a pandemic, yeah, yeah. you might be looking for some advice. <laughs> Watch reruns. What's up, Miles Nation? How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Have you ever wanted to freaking Hulk out? You know I have fuck face. Oh, fuck face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to tell you about something that's going to get you sopping. Oh, God. God. <laughs> Appropriate for it that. It better be a, like a smoothie machine. Something smells, and it's me. <laughs> Woo! Take a bath Essential with oils. Wash. You're going to want to get... Salty. Salty? You want to get sweet. I, I love watching Andrew's face try salt and scrub. figure this out. What A if I scrub. told you that citrus could be bitrous? Um, Where's this going, buddy? <laughs> Crap. Fruit. Huh? Grapefruit, Ned, oh, grapefruit. listen up. Grapefruit. <laughs> My advice is to thinly slice Ooh. a little piece of a mice. That, <laughs> that's a grapefruit. Sound like the guy who just bought a boat. Grapefruit's bitter and bad <laughs> it's and sucks. good. It's awful. Yum, yum, yum. Someone call an orange because it wants its bitter taste back. Oranges, you know, they're the people of citrus. They taste the new good. black. Grapefruits are for adults. They taste bad. And they don't taste bad, Keith. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> they're, the thing about me with they're grapefruits is taste. my tongue has a hard time with citrus. Yeah, me too. And man, mm-hmm. is that the most acidic, yeah. bitter thing. There's nothing sweet about it. People put sugar on it, yeah, typically. I, but that's crazy. People, My parents would like, have some grapefruit. And I would be like, okay, this looks good. It looks like a big orange. Well, Took a spoonful of it. Uh-oh. I was like, this is mean. No. <laughs> this is a mean thing to yep. serve people. Keith mm-hmm. also doesn't like Negroni, so this tracks. Yeah. If you're a like Keith, bitter. then mm-hmm. you're bitter not going to like this. is gross. If you're me, uh-huh. then mm-hmm. what you're going to want to do is yep. a thinly sliced grapefruit, and you're going to want to get super stoned and suck <laughs> that juice, baby. Oh, my God. Sucking on the juice of a little grapefruit, and I'm going to have a good time. Yeah, How I do mean, you suck I think your thin this slice. Is not well, bad. I get a thin slice, and I could, I sort of go, yeah, and How I kind of dart my tongue out. Is it a circle slice or a wedge? No, 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 slice? no, a wedge. 
Okay. But one of the things you do is you cut on the side of the grapefruit. So it's just eat grapefruit. That's the advice. I'm not going to fucking spoon feed it to you. Well, Becky loves grapefruit, so she'll like. I think best. everyone should try it because you usually try it when you're little and you're like, this is gross. <laughs> so then maybe you give it a second shot when you're an adult and you're like, Less gross. This is yeah. uh, something I could trick myself into enjoying. Everyone should try a grapefruit is all I'm saying. Nutritious yeah. breakfast. Grape fruit. And, <laughs> and it hard to <clears throat> eat. You have to like yeah. saw it out. This was they, yeah. Yeah. spoons with knives for them. Yeah. They're grapefruit spoons. That's They're knife crazy spoons. though. That's what do you like guys, uh, what do you call grapefruit in Canada? Uh, gross. 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 Checks yeah. out. Mm, That's fair. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. My this man. is one of those ones that, that I'm almost positive I've given before, but. I don't think you have. Maybe not. Maybe you do, do, uh, yeah, do a little oranges. grapefruit in your Aperol spritz. Yummy. Mm, grapefruit yummy. as a garnish on like a Paloma, <gasps> oh, which uh -huh. has grapefruit juice, I believe. Yeah, That's Paloma. the only time I've liked grapefruit juice in a Paloma. Yeah. Grapefruit, uh, well, margarita. it's great for, for alcoholic drinks because yeah. it's a little, you know, brings it, it brings sour in the bitterness, right? It brings a little bitterness. That's and right. you put the simple syrup all in and make it taste good. That's right. All elements to a good So get a grapefruit drink. and just have some. They're also really big. Pomelos and are also kind of cool. I'm sorry, what? A pomelo? The fuck is that? You've never seen a pomelo? They're uh. gigantic, but it's a lot of pith. So you get in there. It's a big, like, greenish, yellowish type of motherfucker, <laughs> and you slice in there, and it's got a little juice. But That's enough from you. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, it's been such a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> always, <laughs> always. <laughs> I, I just go. You put a quarter in my tank. I go until the fucking meter runs out. Uh, <laughs> if people want more oh of you, where boy. can they find you? On all the socials at Andrew Gerza One. And again, they can follow us at um, www.getbumpin.com. And do you have any questions for Miles? Yeah. Uh, that was weird, but I'm here for it. That's fair. Mm -hmm. that's, <laughs> that's absolutely fair, Andrew. I don't know, you know, whenever I give an advice and there's a guest, I'm deeply self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, it's like one of those things where it's like, oh, it's okay when you do this at home in front of parents. But then, you know. My face being like, what is that? What? I don't know what to do. Yeah, you were confused. And that's fair. <laughs> fair. It's but fair. it's my career. <laughs> I, I made a career beer. out of this wacky. You're calling, really. Yeah. When you say it as a career. It's, it's my career. It's interesting. This is my mm -hmm. career. It's, my it's, career is to tell yeah. people to get grapefruit. It's not incorrect. <laughs> Some people fight fires. I tell people to eat a grapefruit. Or am take I, a bath. Am I a hero? Yeah. Do I fuck at the same volume as a firefighter? Perhaps. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> well, that's it. Uh, well, wait, no. All right. This has been the Tripod. Stick around on patreon.com slash tripod. Try guys for the after pod. Get some merch. Follow Andrew. Get yourself a sex toy. Fund an orgasm. And Keith. Here's with the official tripod theme song. It's big and pink. It rolls on the ground. You can eat it around. It's a grapefruit. It's big and bitter. Uh. I hate it so much. I hate the bitterness Yum. of grapefruit. Grapefruit. Nice. It's got its own special spoon. Slurp. Tripod. Until next time, stay beautiful. We'll see you later, fuck, fuck faces. Face. Okay.